I have created a dedicated video for explaining linear differential equation and how to solve it. So I'm not going to explain the definition of linear differential equation in this video. Rather, I'm going to solve each and every question of exercise 9.6 NCRT over here. So if you want to see the details of linear differential equation and its algorithm, please refer the playlist for class 12th maths on my channel. So exercise 9.6 question number one is dy upon dx plus 2y is equal to sine x. This is a differential equation we need to solve. So obviously this is first type of linear differential equation in the format dy upon dx plus dy is equal to q where p and q are some functions of x or constants. So first we need to compare the differential equation with this standard linear differential equation and comparing these two equations we have p is equal to 2 and q is equal to sin x. After that we need to find integrating factor that is e raised to the power integral p dx. So that is equal to e raised to the power integral 2 dx that is equal to e raised to the power 2x integral of 2 with respect to x is 2x so e raised to the power 2x is integrating factor let it be equation number 1. Now since the given differential equation is a linear differential equation its solution is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c. Now substituting in this equation in the value of integrating factor and the value of q so y into integrating factor is e raised to the power 2x from equation number 1 so e raised to the power 2x is equal to integral q is sin x so sin x into e raised to the power 2x plus c let it be equation number 2 now let us assume i is equal to integral sin x into e raised to the power 2x dx. So proceeding from this step, now obviously this is the case of integration by parts. So considering sin x as first function and e raised to the power 2x as second function, we are going to integrate by parts. So by the algorithm of integration by parts, first function as it is into integral of the second function which is e raised to the power 2x. So integral of e raised to the power 2x will be e raised to the power 2x upon 2 minus integral as a whole differential of first function that is differential of sin x which is cos x into integral of the second function which is e raised to the power 2x upon 2 dx. This is integration by parts. So let's simplify this e raised to the power 2x upon 2 sin x. Again, proceeding from this term, we are going to integrate this again by parts. So this is first function and this is second function. So minus outside and within bracket we apply integration by parts. First function as it is cos x integral of second function which becomes e raised to the power 2x upon 4 minus integral as a whole differential of first function which is cos x differential of cos x is minus sin x and integral of the second function which is e raised to power 2x upon 2 integral of this function becomes e raised to power 2x upon 4 dx and bracket closed that is e raised to the power 2x upon 2 sin x opening the bracket because of this minus sin will change inside so it is minus e raised to the power 2x upon 4 this part and cos x as it is and here inside in the second term there are two minuses so multiplying this minus and this minus it becomes plus and then after opening the bracket this minus will make that plus again negative so minus e raised to the power 2x upon 4 integral sin x dx that is equal to e raised to the power 2x upon 2 sin x minus e raised to the power 2x upon 4 cos x and in this integrand we may take 1 upon 4 out 
of the integral because this is constant coefficient so minus 1 upon 4 integral e raised to the power 2x sine x dx if we observe this integral this is identical to this integral e raised to the power sine 2x is there e raised to the power sine 2x is there sine x is there sine x is there so that means we may replace this integral as i because we have assumed this integral as i so in this step e raised to the power 2x upon 2 sine x minus e raised to the power 2x upon 4 cos x minus 1 upon 4 i now proceeding from this step this 1 upon 4 i is transposed to left hand side on the left hand side we already have i so on the left hand side it becomes i plus 1 upon 4 i is equal to on the right hand side we have these two terms so out of these two terms e raised to the power 2 x upon 4 may be taken out so e raised to the power 2 x upon 4 we have taken out and then inside the bracket in the first term what is left 2 sin x and in the second term minus cos x simplifying i plus 1 upon 4 i we have 5 upon 4 i is equal to e raised to the power 2 x upon 4 within bracket 2 sin x minus cos x now this denominator will cancel this denominator from opposite side and now 5i is left on the left hand side now transposing 5 to right hand side on the left hand side i is left and 5 goes in the denominator of e raised to the power 2x so e raised to the power 2x upon 5 bracket 2 sin x minus cos x so we have found the integral of sin x e raised to the power 2x as e raised to the power 2x upon 5 2 sin x minus cos x let it be equation number 3 from equation number 2 and 3 we have to replace this integral by its value from equation number 3 so we have the y e raised to the power 2x is equal to now the value of integral sin x e raised to the power 2x is this so e raised to the power 2x upon 5 to sin x minus cos x and after that plus c as it is now in the last step we transpose this integrating factor from left hand side to right hand side it will divide all the terms of right hand side so we have y is equal to in the first term e raised to the power 2x will be cancelled by this e raised to the power 2x when it will divide it and we get 1 upon 5 bracket 2 sin x minus cos x plus and when we divide c by e raised to the power 2x so we get c upon e raised to the power 2x or we may write it as y is equal to 1 upon 5 to sin x minus cos x plus c e raised to the power minus 2x and this is the required solution of the given differential equation now question number 2 dy upon dx plus 3y is equal to e raised to the power minus 2x so comparing with dy upon dx plus py is equal to q we have p is equal to 3 and q is equal to e raised to the power minus 2x let it be equation number one now let's find integrating factor integrating factor is equal to e raised to the power integral p dx or e raised to the power integral the value of p is 3 so p dx so integral of 3 is 3x e raised to the power 3x let it be equation number 2 now we need to substitute the value of q and integrating factor in the equation y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c so we have y into e raised to the power 3x is equal to integral q q is e raised to the power minus 2 uh, minus 2x from equation number 1 and integrating factor is e raised to the power 3x e raised to the power 3x dx plus c that is equal to integral by theory of indices bases are same powers are added so minus 2x plus 3x becomes x so we have e raised to the power x 
dx plus c. Now integral of e raised to the power x is e raised to the power x obviously so we get e raised to the power x plus c. Now transposing e raised to the power 3x to right hand side we have y is equal to e raised to the power x upon e raised to the power 3x plus c upon e raised to the power 3x or e raised to the power x upon e raised to the power 3x it becomes e raised to the power minus 2x plus c and 1 upon e raised to the power 3x may be written as e raised to the power minus 3x in the numerator. So finally we have y is equal to e raised to the power minus 2x plus c e raised to the power minus 3x. This is the required solution of the given differential equation. Now third differential equation to be solved is dy upon dx plus y upon x is equal to x squared. So comparing with dy upon dx plus py is equal to q we get p is equal to 1 upon x say this is equation number 2 and q is equal to x square say this is equation number 2. p is equal to 1 upon x is equation number 1 and q is equal to x square let it be equation number 2. So now we have to find integrating factor which is equal to in this case e raised to the power integral p dx that is equal to e raised to the power integral p is 1 over x so substitute the value of p over here dx and as we know integral of 1 upon x is log x so we have e raised to the power log x as we know by the property of exponential and logarithm e raised to the power log eliminate each other and we get only x let it be equation number 3 now we need to substitute the value of integrating factor and the value of q from equation number 2 and 3 in the equation y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c. So y integrating factor we got x so y into x is equal to integral q is x square from equation number 2 so x square into integrating factor x dx plus c. So we have integral x square into x x cube dx plus c. So integral of x cube is x is to the power 4 upon 4 plus c. Finally, x transposing x to right hand side, we get y on the left hand side and x will divide x is to the power 4 upon 4. It will become x cube upon 4 plus c upon x and this is the required solution of the different given differential equation now sum number four dy upon dx plus is sec x or sec x whatever you call it y is equal to 10x and now we have to compare it with a standard equation dy upon dx plus py is equal to q we have p that is the coefficient of y here coefficient of y is sec x so p is equal to sec x that would be question number one and in place of q there is 10x so q is equal to 10x that would be question number two now in this case integrating factor is equal to e raised to the power integral p dx that is equal to e raised to the power integral sec x dx that is equal to e raised to the power integral of sec x as we know well is log sec x plus 10x and as e raised to the power log eliminate each other we have only sec x plus 10x let it be equation number 3 now since the given differential equation is a linear differential equation so its solution will be of the form y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c y into integrating factor we have found sec x plus 10x so y into sec x plus 10x is equal to integral q q is 10x from equation number 2 so 10x in the bracket sec x plus 10x dx plus c is equal to integral if we multiply both the terms inside the bracket with 10x we have sec x 10x dx 
which is directly integrable and plus integral 10x into 10x becomes 10 square x dx plus c. Now proceeding from this step, we have y into sec x plus 10x is equal to. On the right hand side, we have integral sec x 10x dx plus in the next integral integrand is 10 square x which is not integrable so we need to write it in terms of sec square x as we know well 10 square theta is sec sec square theta minus 1 so we may write 10 square theta as sec square x minus 1 dx plus c now an integral of sec x 10 x with respect to x is sec x so sec x plus Integral of sec square x is 10x, so we have 10x. And integral of 1 with respect to x will be x, so minus x plus c. Finally, we need to transpose expression to right hand side to make y alone. So y is equal to sec x plus 10x minus x plus c upon sec x plus 10x. So, this is the required solution of the given differential equation, though we may write it in different forms. So, we may write it as y is equal to, and if we divide sec x plus 10x by sec x plus 10x, this term by this binomial we have 1 and minus, we may, we may take minus common out of these two terms. So, in, in the numerator we have x minus c, and in the denominator sec x plus 10x. So, you may leave your answer here or here. Your answer is perfect. Now, fifth differential equation is cos square x dy upon dx plus y is equal to 10x. This is not in a standard form because in the standard form, the coefficient of dy upon dx must be unity. So, in order to bring it into a standard form, we need to divide each and every term of the equation by cos square x to create unity over here. So, dividing both sides by cos square x. In the first term dy upon dx plus if we divide y by cos square x it becomes sec square x. Why? Because the reciprocal of cos is sec is equal to if we divide 10 by cos square x we get sec square x into 10x. Now it is in a standard form so comparing with dy upon dx plus py is equal to q we have p is equal to sec square x let it be equation number one and q is equal to sec square x 10x let it be equation number two now let's find integrating factor that is equal to e raised to the power integral p dx so that is equal to e raised to the power integral p is sec square x dx integral of sec square x is 10x so e raised to the power 10x let it be equation number 3 now proceeding from this step next in the next step we have to substitute the value of integrating factor and q in the equation y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c we have y into integrating factor we have found e raised to the power 10x so e raised to the power 10x is equal to integral q uh, which is given as sec square x 10x so sec square x 10x and integrating factor is e raised to the power 10x dx plus c now proceeding from this step is equal to now for this integral we have to assume 10x as u because this is the case of substitution we see sec square x is the exact differential coefficient of 10x so we have assumed 10x as u so differentiating this equation with respect to x we have sec square x dx is equal to du so by this substitution equation turns out to be y into e raised to the power u is equal to integral u in place of 10x there will be u and e raised to the power 10x will be e raised to the power u and sec square x dx becomes du from here so du now integrating by parts 
this is first function this is second function first function as it is integral of the second function that is e raised to power u with respect to u will be e raised to power u minus integral as a whole differential of first function which is u differential of u with respect to u will be 1 and integral of e raised to the power u with respect to u is e raised to power u dx so u e raised to the power u minus integral of e raised to the power u is e raised to the power u plus c finally transposing e raised to the power u to right hand side it will divide each and every term so y is equal to if it divides first term we get only u minus if it divides second term we get only 1 plus if it divides c we get c e raised to the power minus u because c upon e raised to the power u may be written as c e raised to the power minus u and finally we have to replace u by 10x because our final answer must be in the same variable which was given in the question so u as 10x so we have y is equal to 10x minus 1 plus c e raised to the power minus 10x and this is the required solution of the given differential equation.